Hey y'all, it's me, Miss Panda, and I'm coming at you today with another little quick video. Um, I want to do a reaction to Just Jazzy. Her daughter ran away again. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on with these teenagers. Like, oh my goodness, being a parent to teenagers is not easy. But before we get into today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel because doing those things help to push my video through the YouTube algorithm. So if you're ready, let's get started, okay? Let me present my screen. How's this a boyfriend? 13. Now, this right here is the 911 phone call that Jazzy, she had called the cops because her daughter basically ran away from home. Um, she hasn't been to school in like over a week. Um, I, this, this is the part that doesn't make sense to me. My thing is how I, I'm speaking in terms of the other mother, the other heifer on the other side. I don't understand how this woman as a mother can run interference in a whole nother household you understand what i'm saying in terms of even even if she is for the sake of argument staying in in your house as a woman i'm still going to see to it that this child gets up and goes to school just in good faith you already did wrong because she ain't got no business with this this minor child who is not over the age of 18 she doesn't have um she the, the police and the law is giving her so much freedom and rights that it's not even it's not even fair at this point it's like the parent the, the the biological mother which is jasmine doesn't have any say really it's like the law is completely on michaela's side like jasmine wasn't lying when she said that her daughter was smart i don't i don't know if she's studying the laws or if somebody's in her ear telling her what she can and can't do because she is moving real strategic out in these streets she moving reckless, but she's moving strategic because she knows exactly what what strings to pull, how to move, what to do, and everything. And it's like her mother's hands is tied, and it's not fair. Let's continue, honey, because this is a hot mess, honey. Messy, messy, messy. The school, I had to call the school, and they said, oh, she hasn't been here for a whole week. And I said, oh, no one told me. And I said, Let, maybe a wellness check needs to be done. No, I don't know the mother's name. I know the son, which should be her boyfriend. His name. All right, assistance will be provided at the last possible. My friend and one zero four nine. Thank you. She said, "Um, what were you saying? She said I never came home because of my babies. Um, she was like, um, somebody is doing something." Damn, I'll call you back. Is, well, I just want to know if my daughter is there. Yeah, I'll call you back. Give me a second. Yo, y'all don't, y'all don't. This is so just it's it's just so weird how they just be brushing her off like that. Like she's a whole parent and it's like what what do what do you do at this point? This child is like you don't even know what to do. It's like it's you try to do the right things, you try to call the police, you try to, you know, you know, include the law because you try to be, you know, well within your rights because at this point it's like you want to go to the streets. I'm not inciting violence, but you you want to you want to put hands on somebody because you try to go about it the legal way and it seemed like she's just being brushed brushed off and pushed to the side and dismissed. You know? It's crazy. It is so crazy. I don't understand what I be going through with these people. Like I need to calm down for a second. When I tell y'all, NYPD be having me up the wall, like, through. I called 911 to do a wellness check. And why, why would you call me with chaos? No, she's uh, 13 years old. And I'm sorry, you're, you're breaking out. Can you repeat that? Yes, she, she's 13 years old. How is it okay for her to keep sorry, staying in that house? Give me, like, one second, ma'am. I'm sorry. Sorry, go ahead one more time. Yeah, she's 13 years old. How is it okay for that mom to allow her she's to keep staying? Years old, that's all I got. What happened? Yeah, she's 13 years old. How is it okay for that mother to keep allowing my daughter to stay in her house when I told her that's not okay? 
I mean, that's not okay. But then again, she keeps running away, right? Am I right? Oh, I don't know what's going on between you. This is my first time. Yeah, I understand that she's running away, but it's like, I, that is a valid question. Like, how is it okay for her as a minor child, she's not 18, she's not at the legal age of consent, to, to, to be able to to make those types of decisions legally, okay, to to be in this woman's house. And for her to be a minor, how isn't that harbor a few not a, I wouldn't want to call her a fugitive because she's not a fugitive. She's not a, she's not a she's not a criminal, but she is a minor. I thought that there were laws against that. I guess it varies by state, from state to state. But it's just weird that it's it, you know that Jasmine is, is is making it a point to call the police because she is documenting it on 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 her videos where she's calling the police and documenting different things, you know, and creating a paper trail and different things like that. But then she could just go over there. My thing is, why not tell her when she come up behind to your door, tell her to go home, go back home to your mother. Obviously, it's something that Michaela is telling this woman. I don't know because the woman knows, obviously knows that Jasmine it does YouTube. That's not a secret. She has a big following on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. So she knows this. So it's, uh, it's, it's it, her daughter is the common denominator. It's something that her daughter is telling that woman about her that's going on in that house. I don't know if it's true because we don't live there. We only go off of what Jasmine is, is telling us. It's two sides to a story. So we don't, we never get the opportunity to hear Michaela's side. So we don't really, really, we only know from, Je from Jasmine's perspective what is happening. Okay. So obviously from Michaela's side, Michaela's going over there telling that woman something. Now the bottom line is she got to get down to the bottom of what the heck she's telling that woman. Because that woman, that is the driving force, I guess, is it would seem like that makes her feel that she's well within her, her, her rights and her authority to allow her to stay in her house because of what Michaela is telling her is going on in Jasmine's house. Now, I don't know if she's lying or telling the truth, but that's what it seemed like to me. That's just my opinion. Okay, let's continue. Dealing with the situation, my partner said that she was here before. Yes. Um, but at the same time, if... You know, if she keeps leaving the house, you can do a missing persons report. Um, but at the same time, you know, we can't... We can't really forcibly take her from the home, you know, and... The mother can't just say, no, you can't come in my house. Then what, what else is she I get it that they said that if, if she leaves to do a missing person report. But let's be realistic. Let's be, let's, be, let's, be, let's be logical. What does that do? Yeah, okay, she runs away. You call the cops. They create a missing persons report. Then what? Now what? She runs away again. You create another missing persons report. Now what? So I, I, I'm, I'm not understanding. You, you get where I'm going? There's a pattern here. What, what are we going to do to stop this? I, I'm not understanding. You know, I don't know. Something's missing. Some, something's missing. I do. You know, at 13? I think, even though I think she's it's 13? better to be in a house than out in the street. So at 13, so there's nothing I can do. At you, you'd rather for her to be in a house than on the street? Listen. Man, listen, no disrespect, but to the police, whatever, but she needs to be home. She needs to be home. She don't need to be at that woman's house. What are you talking about? At least she's in the house. She has a house. She's running away. The que but the question is, why? Why is she running away? That's that's the question. As a parent, to stop my thirteen-year-old from being able to no, stay. No. What I'm telling you is, you can file a missing per missing persons report every time she does run away. I know, but the mother, the mother. No, she yeah. Allowed you know, so we can have at least reports of her going running away. Um. And the mom and can't get there's not a, a custodial interference. Nothing I can no. do to file against this mother. She, allowing yeah. my daughter to stay I'm, in her home i'm so uh, you're, I'm, yeah she's on the phone you know uh my, my partner's gonna speak to you, you hello yes this is so crazy to me you mean to tell me it seems it sounds like to me like michaela has more rights than jasmine does it sounds like the the, the boyfriend's mom whoever that heifer is honey miss meddlesome miss nosy miss 
harboring a minor, it seemed like she has more rights and authority than Jasmine does. She has more control over Jasmine house, household and Jasmine's daughter than Jasmine does. And the police just keep reiterating the the fact that, oh, you know, just file a missing person report. Okay, cool. But, but my, my thing is, then then what? You creating a paper tra trail for what? What action are you going to take? Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. This is so confusing to me. Hi, Ms. Graves. How are you? Did you go to court today? No, I didn't go to court today. Okay, the mom wants to speak to you. Do you mind speaking to her? Is that okay with you? Um, bitch. That bitch wouldn't have a mother effing thing to say to me. Okay? <laughs> not an MF thing. If you ain't standing on taking my daughter, sending my daughter back to my house, B I T C H, we ain't got an MF thing to talk about. Okay? Get up out my face. Get up out of here. Run me my sure. daughter. Okay. But I, I don't know how you, you didn't call the police and get her out of here before that? Yeah, I, I, the I, police were here two times before. I called the police. If, if anyone can look and see how many times I called the police. I call uh -huh. the police every time you she got does it. You it. got your number. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Yes. Is this great? Yes. Hi. Your mom? Hello? Oh, she, oh, she's on the phone right now. Oh, she's, you, she's calling you. She says she's calling you right now. Do you have a 203 number? No, I have a Oh, hello? Yes. She says she's calling you from a 203 number. No, no, it's not ringing. No one's calling. Is your number 9017? I just, I just want to know that. So I have to work something out with... She's good. She's 100% good. But you need to call her and you guys have to work something out. So I have to work... So I have to work something out. Hold up, wait a minute, time out, pause. What the F you mean? She got to work something out with the mo with that mother. What the heck? Why? Is that her baby daddy? Is that her mama? She ain't even family. So why do her biological mother got to work out something with her? Is that crazy? Man, listen. Something out with the mom, so okay, no yeah. problem. Call, she's calling you right now. Pick up your phone, okay? Okay. All right, hon. Bye. Yo, this is surreal. This is not real life. I'm trying so hard to calm down. I'm trying so hard. Michaela. Michaela has not been here. This is why I document everything, bro. Y'all don't understand how hard I am trying, son. <sighs> Michaela hasn't been here. Michaela decided that she wants to stay with this lady for whatever reason. I don't want to hear nothing, bro. Michaela and the ACS lady can vouch for it. Michaela sat and I. Fa Michaela just want to stay where she could just do. That's that house to me sounds like a flop house. If y'all don't know what a flop house is, basically it's not a trap house, but it's a house where people just hang out. Everybody just hang out there. Um, you have people from all different walks of life, all different ages. You come in the living room and open up the door. You stepping over people. It's, 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 anything goes there. Like she could just do whatever she want to do. You don't want to go to school today? All right, cool. No problem. You don't want to eat, eat dinner tonight? Oh, okay. No problem. Nobody cares. You don't want to wash your behind? Nobody nobody cares about nothing that you do. You're just there. You can come and go as you please. Run the street. Not come home. No, nobody cares. Nobody holds you accountable for anything. You can just do what you want to do. And she's just at that age where she just want to do what she want to do. I, I don't know what she's telling that lady. I don't know what's going on inside Michaela's head. I don't know what's going on with Jasmine. I don't know what's going on when, it, when these cameras get cut off. I don't know. She, it's something she's telling that lady, and that's that. That's just, and I stand on that. That's most definitely. Faces and said this lady is aware of everything. She aware that I got a YouTube channel. She aware of everything, and the reason why I state this is because even if Michaela was lying to her, saying my mother's horrible, she 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 doesn't want me there. My mother kicks me out, and I have nowhere to go. You watch these videos, so you know that isn't true. Granted, let's give you another benefit of the doubt.
And Michaela came in and said, my mother's whooping my ass. I am abused. Look at me. Why wouldn't you call the police? Why wouldn't you call ACS on me? Why wouldn't you do these things? When these police knock on your door for my child, what would give you the impression that I don't want her back? How? How would you be under this impression? And for the police, for everybody who I am begging for help for this child that's just saying, oh, there's nothing we can do. Oh, there's nothing you can do. When this child ends up dead, missing, or abused, y'all gonna tell me, don't say that, Jasmine. Don't don't say that. She ain't gonna end up dead. She just going through something right now. We gonna we gonna pray. We gonna sit up there and send that. You know, we gonna pray that that God sends some angels around her and that she gets some sense. You know, because we 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 ain't gonna we we ain't gonna speak that into existence. We ain't gonna speak that part into existence, honey. We gonna pray for her. She's she's going through some 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 ish right now. But you know what? She this too shall pass. But we're we not going to speak death on, on you. We're not going to speak death on her. We're not going to speak death on her. Uh-uh. We, we ain't doing that. Well, Mom, why didn't you do all you can do? Mom, it's your fault. Mom, you wasn't being a mom. Mom, you didn't. Mom, you didn't. No, I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything. And it's fucking hard. Bro, I am so aggravated it's like son what do y'all want me to do i am doing everything and what i can't do i reach out for help i call the police i call acs i done call acs 50 times everybody's telling me i don't i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know what to tell you i don't know what you can do i don't so what y'all want what y'all want me to do tell me Everybody got the answers. Everybody got always oh, mental health. She has a mental health condition. I gave her all the mental health services she needs. Nah, Jasmine, you always get up here and say that she has mental health problems, though. You you did say that in a couple of videos. You 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 said that. That was you. She had a therapist. She got a psychologist. She got a social worker in school. She go to counseling, family therapy. She gets all these mental health services. Now what? Now what? This little girl is choosing to do what the fuck she want to do. And you know why? Because there's another adult. First of all, she just grown. So she want to do what she want to do. And then you got a grown woman telling her, you could do it. You could come lay in my house and do it at that. I don't know, Jazz. At this point, you might just have to, you might have to t kiss New York goodbye. I mean, not move to a different borough. Like you might not, you might need to move far away from New York. Now I remember back, you know, a few months back, you and Kaisha was, you know, having had plans about moving to North Carolina down there where her grandmother is, where y'all was looking at houses, and then all of a sudden we ain't hear nothing else about that. We don't know if you was just turning that camera on when you was in North Carolina, just using that as content or whatever the case is. But there was some nice, decent houses within your price range, mind you. And you are a content creator that does Instagram and does, you know, your TikToks and does your YouTube and different things of that nature. So you don't have to be in New York to do that, boo-boo. You can sit up there and take your camera, pack up your house, pack up your laptop, and, and you ain't even got to go to North Carolina, but you might have to change your environment to get her away from that boy. I, I, don't, I don't know if that would help, but... That but that that woman is it's, you got to get her away from that lady. That lady is bugging. It's gonna come to a head, yo. You got to get her away from that lady. That chick ain't right. Something ain't right in her head. And what? Why wouldn't she? Let me tell you something. Even if Michaela like the police said, would you rather her be in the street? Yeah, yeah. So she could see that it ain't as easy. Um, nah. We, we we don't want her in the street neither. I understand you mad, crying, and sad. I'm I'm sad for you because I know it's hard and you know you're stressed. But nah, we don't want her. We don't want her in the street neither. But we don't want her at that lady house. But we don't want her in the street either. If you get my drift, okay? See, as she think it is. Why would I stop running away? I got somewhere to go. 
Somebody gonna feed me. Somebody gonna help me. She living a life. She get to lay up at 13 years old, have sex at 13 years old, sleep, don't go to school. This is the good life. Why would she want to come here where there's rules and regulations and somebody that care about what happened to her? Why would she? So when the police officer has to tell me, would you rather her be in the street? Yes, I would. So she could know that she needs to be home with me. Yo, I have... Now that I got myself together and I could think a little more, let me tell y'all what hurts the worst, right? What hurts the worst is I'm trying to believe everything. Do you hear me? I'm sitting here and I'm trying to mind F myself to believe. Maybe Michaela's getting drugged. But if you was getting drugged, you know how many times I, I was there to pull you out of it and help you and get you any help that you would need? People who do drugs, they need it consistently. Michaela came home the last time. Y'all seen her here for all of them days. Be like, where's her daddy at, though? I mean, I know you sent her down there. She sent her down there at some point with her father. But I don't feel like this is fair for her to have to go through all of this by herself. Considering the fact that I, too, lost my mother. So I know how that feels because life is just not the same. Since my mother has passed away. May she rest in peace. So I could understand where. How how all of this. Could take its toll on a person mentally and emotionally. But it also you know. She she needs a support system. She can't go through this by herself. I'm like where is. where is Obviously her mom has passed. May she rest in peace. But where is Kaisha. In all of this. Where is. Her family. Where is Michaela's dad? At least. You know? She she this is a lot to go through. This is a lot. Being home, no drugs, no anything. So she can live without it if it was the drugs. I tried to bleed up I tried to be oblivious and say, Maybe the mom doesn't know what's going on. How? How? How would she not know what's going on when she filed charges against me? How would she not know what's going on when the police... The How could she have the audacity to file charges against you when she got your child in her house? You need to press charges. You need to counter sue. That half got a lot of nerve trying to... Put, what? Oh, my God. That lady need her... You need to smack fire out her, yo. And showed up to her house a billion times. Even took it this far. When I tell you I tried to play every theory. I said. Maybe the mom doesn't live there. And that's a trap house. Like a little you know. A little trap house. And Michaela and the little boy is staying there. No. She lives there. As you can see. Because she's on the phone. The fact that Michaela is saying. I, I hear her on the phone. I don't want to talk to my mom. I don't want to go home to my mom. It's like. Why though? Like I don't understand why. It's something that we not saying. It's, it's something. I don't know. Like I said. It's something she telling us. And we never got. We never get Michaela's side of the story. We probably never will. Unless she has like a YouTube channel. And she uploads her side. But it's something that's happening. That she's. That Jasmine is either not aware of. Or she's simply just not telling us. Or she just telling us bits and pieces of what she want us to know. You are of sound mind and sound. You ain't getting sex traffic. The people who save you from sex, sex trafficking is right in front of you. If you was getting sex traffic, you wouldn't go back. It, it, I would not believe that a 13 year old could have it in her heart to just say, I want to be here with this boy. At 13? Now, I done been boy crazy. I done, been, girl, please, 13, that's all I wanted was a boyfriend. I done been cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over a boy. But to be this way, this way, to just be, to blatantly, like, you, the girl told her friend, she'll come home if I can compromise, if I can at least let her stay there on the weekends. What? Stay there on the weekends? 
Nah, yo, no, uh uh. No, uh uh, hell no. Nope, nope, and 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 nope. Nope. No compromise. Nope. Nope, not happening. If I tell my 16 year old who has a boyfriend, who her boyfriend can only come around when they're. Because my thing is at that point, if you agree to let her stay there at the week, at the, for, for the weekend with that boy, none of your kids. Is going to respect you. Kaisha is not going to respect you. Nobody. So you can't even go for that. At this point, girl, she just want to be able to, if you give her an inch and you allow that and you, and you okay that and say yes, then she ain't going to have no, no, no respect. And then she's going to be trying to get, get away with just any and everything. And the other kids is too. They're in my company. If I tell my 13 year old, hey, on the weekend, you could go lay up and have sex and, you know, be with a boy. I might as well tell my 16 year old, go, go say yes while you're at it. If, if I allow Michaela to control my household that much, I might as well just let everything else I stand for go. And then people got the nerve. When I told people her compromise, you know what people said? Well, at least you'll know she's safe. You might as well let her come home and go be there on the weekends because she's there now. Do I stand for What? Who said that? Who said that? Child, they need to get the hell on with that bass. Who said that? Some bull. I might as well let her come in here and take the belt and whoop my ass while she at it too. Mine as well. She my parent. <laughs> Yo. I, I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm, every time I feel like I'm one step closer to getting it together, it's like, it's, it just knocked me 20 steps back. And, and do y'all know what's crazy? I still ain't give up. I still ain't give up. When, when I sat here and I thought I couldn't even, I couldn't even be sad for a second. I had to take myself out of it. I had to stop and say, God, thank you can't give up. You you gotta stay. You gotta you you gotta stay doing what you're doing because if anything, like you said, if anything, and and that's the that's the messed up part about it. The way the way everything is set up, that she's running away. This lady is running interference all up and through her household. She's telling her that she could stay there, but then once the ball drops. They gonna blame you, God forbid, if something happens to her. We're not speaking that into existence, but we just say it hypothetically. If something happened to Michaela, they probably gonna try to come for Jazz. She, all the charges is gonna be against her. She probably gonna be the one that's getting locked up, and Chauncey probably gonna take her to court because the girl ain't been going to school. This is so foul. This is so foul. Like, if that happens, you you cat you drag that mama. Who was up in your business, allowing her to lay up in her, in, in her house against your wishes, and allowing her to miss school against your wishes? Uh, uh, y'all got y'all got to stand in court together because she 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 participated in all that. So when it go down, she got to stand and, and participate in that part too. You you don't get to cherry pick, you don't get to pick and choose. You let her stay there. So if something happened, you you gotta you gotta go down too. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for this strength. Thank you. Because I don't know, Father. I don't know. Like, grieving the loss of my mom and then going through this with my daughter is like, I must be one of your strong ones because you're doing your big one on me. I'm not going to hold you. You're, pour, you're laying on me. You're pouring it on top of me. They always say the devil go beating your door down right before a blessing and right after. God, I don't know what breakthrough he about to have in my life, but baby, it is coming. Do you hear me? When I tell you the devil is at this door with a hammer, the blessing is approaching. It has to be. It has to be. I pray God keep this child. I pray he keeps this baby. When, Let me tell y'all, one day this girl is going to look back, mark my words. I don't care if it's 50 years from now. She is going to look back. I don't care if it's when I'm dead and in the grave. She is going to look back and say, I, I should have listened to my mother. You are in eighth grade. This girl was about to graduate. We got her beautiful prom dress in the closet. 
I was about to pay her senior dues. You ain't even in my house. You, you, <laughs> Mm-mm. What about let let the other let her other mama pay it let let the boyfriend mama pay it since she want to be all, all all up in the mix let her pay it. Ooh, are you gonna be an eighth grade dropout? What you are too smart for this. I prom- this girl will not remember this little boy. I can't even tell you my boyfriend name at 13. I know I had one. The nigga had on leather pants that used to stick to his skin. I thought he was the flyest nigga in the streets. Can't even remember his name. Mm. Oh, God, Lord Jesus. Hello? I'm on I had the police here. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord. This is so 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 much going on right here. There's so much going on. We gonna keep Jasmine and Michaela in prayer. I don't know what's going on with her, but I just hope that this is a phase because we know that people and kids and they go through they go through stuff just like we go through stuff. Um, I I don't know what's happening to her. Um, hopefully she'll come home and she'll snap out of this. Hopefully her and the boy can break up or maybe Jasmine can move or or some something something got to give because this is not a good situation and. and I, I, I'm not wishing or speaking anything into existence because at the end of the day, whether she's 13 or when she's running away or whatever the case is, she is still a child. So I just hope that God has his hands on her. I hope that the angels are following her around wherever she at and keeping her protected. I hope that she outgrows whatever phase that she is going through. I hope that her and Jasmine can work this situation out for the greater good. I want to see, I want to speak good things into existence. I want her to finish school. I don't want her to be no eighth grade dropout. I don't want her to get pregnant. I want her to come to her senses and at least go to school and get her education and come home and try to see if y'all can go to some counseling together. You know, jump down in the comment section and tell me how y'all feel about today's um, video. Some of y'all going to tell me to mind my business. And I'm going to tell y'all to shut up because I'm not going to mind my business. Once you put it on the Internet, it's everybody business. Thank you very much. But thank you for listening. I love you all who support me. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Be blessed and have a good evening.